Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's slightly earlier than usual. My God, that light's incredibly bright and not very flattering. <laughs> uh, how you all doing? I'm going to turn that down a little bit. That's a bit better. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, a morning stream on a Sunday. This is quite rare. Um, so yeah, hi. Uh, welcome along to um, what hopefully should be an informative stream. Um, so as the title may have alluded, turn that music down a little touch because that's a little bit loud. Uh, hopefully you can hear me a little bit more clearly now. So, uh, yeah, what we are, what, what I'm looking to do today is to repair uh, an Apple Watch live on stream. Never done it before. Um, so I've got all the tools, um, not sponsored by iFixit, I, I must say, but I will be using iFixit um tools to do the repair uh, so the issue that we've got is uh the screen has pulled away from an apple watch uh, so i'm going to be replacing the gasket because uh, i've already tried to pull uh, replacing the adhesive uh, however the adhesive did not take um so we're going to reapply uh we're going to change the gasket so we've got a little gasket there hope you can see that Come on, focus, focus, yeah. So we've got a little gasket there. Um, in our little pre-packed package from iFixit. Uh, we're going to be using a Y000 uh, head as well. Um, and an iFixit eye opener, um, which I've just popped in the microwave for 30 seconds. Um, and it's currently laying on top of the, the watch. Uh, we're going to be following uh, the iFixit guide. Um, if you guys want to follow along, uh, the guide is here. Um, so I'm going to be following that guide all the way through. Uh, the approximate time is around about two, three hours for the repair. Uh, but we're going to see how we get on with that one. Um, so, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go top down view. Hopefully this is going to work. Bearing in mind, I have had issues with this webcam before. Um, so I don't know how this is going to go. So, uh, yeah, let's go top down and, uh, let's start the repair. Oh, I get an absolutely nothing. You can hear me. And I've just realized I've picked the wrong scene. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Let's try that one. Oh, that's better. Oh, look, you can see my hand Whoa, on the screen. Oh, look, it's me. It's me. And then down there. Is where all the action's happening. So, at the moment, I'm going to pull the mic a little bit closer. Hi. Hi. How can... Hi. Hi there. Um, yeah. So, um, we've got the eye opener already on top of the watch. Uh, that is currently warming up the Apple Watch. Uh, this is the Apple Watch 3, 42 millimeter. Um, and the issue at the moment is... That the screen is actually coming away from the actual body. And then again, I've just put the uh, the eye opener on top of it, and I don't know if you can see. Actually, better. There you go. So the problem has been that the glass focus camera, the actual glass, had separated from the body of the watch. Um, I haven't actually cleaned the watch before doing this, but um, it's been quite annoying because it does mean that the, the glass has been slipping around. And as you can see, um, if I do that, the actual glass is moving. So it shouldn't do that. Um, so I've already done one repair on this. Um, I've already replaced the, the adhesive, uh, but it hasn't taken um, I shoved it under books overnight, as as the guide um, already said, uh, but that didn't work. So uh, yeah, we're going to do the replacement gasket because I think the gasket may have been damaged um, during my last repair. So uh, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take our um, we're going to take our little spludger tool. Um, we're just going to separate 
the adhesive and the screen so that it won't come apart then. Oh, oh, there it goes. So, yeah, there we go. So now we've actually got the screen to sort of come away, which is kind of what we wanted. Gently, 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 because we don't want to wreck the adhesive that we've already uh, reapplied. We're hopeful. I'm hoping to reuse the adhesive, um, but as you can see, hopefully, I'm going to turn the lighting up a little, little bit. Let's go 100%. Sunlight. No. Um. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see there. Focus. Um. The adhesive is running around the um, the actual um, button the screen. So what we're going to do is that the wiring loom is actually going along there as well. We want to be really careful with that because we don't want to wreck the pressure circuitry. So we're going to take our eye on, we're going to take our opening tool and we're just going to scoot around the edge. And what we need to do is take, yep, okay, so we've got a bit of adhesive there coming through. So that then opens up the watch. And then we're just going to flick that up and around. Pop that down like that. So we're going to flip the watch, hopefully. So we're going to do that. Now, the adhesive is still kind of there. But we got so much on here, like I say, from the previous repair, that we want to make sure that the gasket is good as well. So I'm um, just going to pop that eye up there on there as well, just to sort of keep everything nice and warm. So we're on the introduction in the minute. You are more than welcome to follow along. Um, the guide is on here. Uh, right, so we are on, right. Can we go to the next page? Oh, there we go, next page. So, before starting the repair, take your watch off, charge it, and power it down. If your touch screen is broken, prevents Powering off the watch, use the alternate method to power it down. Well, actually, the, the power button is absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> Prefer the eye opener. We've already done that. Leave the eye opener on the watch for at least a minute to fully heat the screen. Soften the adhesive, holding the screen to the case. Uh, pry it off. Yep, we've done that. Wear eye protection. No, we're okay. Because um, we're not putting... Um, a knife near our eye or anything and it's like we've mitigated the risk um of anything flying off and around so we've done that we've done that okay so we are okay right now we've reached a point where we need our y y triple zero bit um yeah this is an eye fix it um driver this is one of the small ones actually um so yeah just to prove that it is the y y100 focus camera y trouble zero well, i can just do that hopefully you can see that uh trust me it is the y trouble zero oh thank you for the follow uh senior bite off sec that is much appreciated and that alert is actually, uh, where is that alert? There it is. So I'm just going to move that alert up the top. Right. And we're going to replay that. Nope. That's still not working. Alert box. Why are you being a dick? All right. There you go. That's better. There we go, there we go. So we're just going to move that alert down the screen. Yeah, thank you for that follow. That is much appreciated. Um, so yeah, we are doing uh, an Apple Watch 
free repair at the moment. Um, so we've already heated up the surface area with the, the iFixit opening tool. All it took was 30 seconds of the microwave, which was really good and quick. So now we should be okay to pop the eye opener to one side. We're just going to leave that over here. That's still pretty warm to the touch. Um, once you heat it up for 30 seconds of the microwave, you can't actually reheat it for 10 minutes. Um, so we're just going to go straight in. And we are going to unscrew that. Tiny little screw there, chap. Like right on the end of the screwdriver. Um, show that on that camera. Don't don't think you can see that actually. But it's a tiny little screw. So we're going to pop that to one side in our little tray. So just to put that perspective, that's the screw. That, that's the screwdriver head, and that little speck there. That little speck there is the screw. It is so tiny. But then again, that is actually holding um, a little flap. Um, that little flap there is what um, allows us to remove the plate that then allows us to connect to the battery on this particular front. It does seem we require some tweezers. So just going to get our little needle nose point pliers. Little needle nose point pliers. And it looks like we need to actually completely remove this. Now again, we're going to have to be very careful as we take this off. So... No brute force and ignorance on this one. So there we go. There's there's our little like battery door. So we're gonna pop that into our tray. Okay. So next bit. And then this is the GPS model as well. Uh, so on the GPS version, it's possible to disconnect the battery immediately. For the cellular LT version, you need to disconnect the force touch gasket folder out of the way first in order to disconnect the battery. Now, we disconnect the battery by pressing the connector straight up. So, we're going to use our little blue doodad. As we sort of flip that out. I don't think we actually need the watch strap on, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide that out of the way. Just make sure we don't accidentally turn the watch on at the same time. That should give us a little bit more breathing space now, hopefully. Um, so, we're just going to reopen that. Sugar. Didn't mean to do that. Sugar, sugar, sugar. That's it. That's it. That's it. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Cool. So, we've now got our watch to the point where we've got a little black tab. Now, it looks like. Right, we just flip a tiny little connector. Uh, okay, so that should disconnect it from the battery. Cool. Right. So we've disconnected that from the battery now. Just that little connector right there. Apologies, I have large hands. So that little connector there is what connects to the battery. Uh, I just realised we may need a better camera if we're going to do this again. Um, so, okay, so we've just got it in the battery. What's next? Bend the connector up slightly to make sure it doesn't contact by accident. Okay. Uh, using the prying tool, which we have in our kit. This is the ProTech 
toolkit we're using today. Um, I got it on special offer uh, around about Christmas time. Um, well worth the expense. So we're using a little prying tool. Um, and we've got that little point there. So we're going to use that little prying tool. Um, to... Okay. So we've got another point there. It's got, got a little pivot. It's this little connector here. Okay, so we're just going to fold that out of the way because that's actually part of the force gasket by the looks of things so we're just going to fold that out of the way okay well i've done that and now uh hi i'm cinnabite a magical wizard from beyond check out my channel well we don't generally allow advertisement of other people's channels in this one it's just it's just being fair at the end of the day um so what i'm going to do is um unfortunately in this particular case we're going to time you out all right you've been timed up for 10 minutes for advertisement please read the rules um so yeah, you've been timed out for 10 minutes. Um, you're more than welcome to carry on watching the channel, but genuinely we don't allow advertisement on this channel, unless you ask first. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our eye opener, <clears throat> and we're going to lay that over the top. So we're going to lay that over there. Uh, we're going to leave that for 30 seconds. So that will then allow the adhesive to like melt and all that good stuff. Um, the good thing with the iFixit is that all the parts are electrostatic um, safe. So electrostatic discharge safe. Um, I mean, the actual kit itself, you get all the bits and pieces. You get like screen pullers. You get, you get like a whole... Oh, I'm going to move that into the camera, actually, while that's going. So you get so many bits and pieces. Um, you get like a whole, a whole raft of like ends, bits, like an extension tool as well. Um, prying tool. I mean, I've used this tool. I've used this toolkit now for about. I want to say like three years. Um, got it cheap at Christmas. Um, actually, that was it. I got a voucher, and I thought I need a toolkit. And I'd seen the iFixit advertising like, all over the place, you know, like advertising YouTube. And there's a lot of YouTube streamers that were saying, oh, use iFixit, use iFixit. And I thought, you know what? I want to get in on that. So I bought, I, I bought the iFixit toolkit and I've never looked back because the toolkit is so useful. Not just for technology, not just for repairing. Just genuinely... A really good toolkit. I mean, you could probably use it on your car, to be fair. You might struggle on certain parts, but like for little, like tiny little screws and all that, it comes really useful. It comes really useful. So, uh, this must be at least 30 seconds now. So, we're going to go grab our tweezers. We're going to grab our little needle point tweezers. And we're going to go remove the eye opener. I'll pop that to one side. Now, what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to peel off, hopefully, the gasket, bit by bit. Hopefully, that's... There you go. So, that's come away quite nicely, that has. Bearing in mind, this gasket, we we're completely taking out. So... If it's not, if it's not coming off straight away, we're not going to force it. We are, because we've got a brand new one anyway, so the risk of tearing it is, like, not so bad. Because we've already got a replacement part. Um, so, we're going to pop that like that. Okay. 
Now comes the challenge where we've got <sighs> we've got to get this gasket over the screen. There you go. Just like that. Just like that. There you go. There's the old gasket. That's the old gasket out now. That's out of the out of the watch. So you're just gonna pop that to one side. Okay. So now we've got the watch with no gasket in it. Just gonna grab that there. Don't know what that is. But we're gonna sort of just lift that flap just to be hundred percent sure. <laughs> Uh, right, clean all traces of the adhesive and broken glass thoroughly in the case. Scour the case using a cleaning pad. We don't actually have a cleaning pad or anything. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sort of scrape. Scrape out any adhesive that may be there previously. I mean, the ideal way of doing this is a little like cotton wool bud with a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Um, but unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of that. So we're just going to scrape out anything that we kind of see from previous. Just so we get a really good seal on this. Make sure that that's on there. So we've still got the adhesive that I put on last time. Um, just clearing up what we can. Because it needs to come out and around. So there's quite a lot of adhesive. Sort of still, there's a lot of adhesive where the false gasket was previously. So that's all good. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Okay, I think we're mostly there now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the prying tool and sort of scroll around. There's a bit of damage there on the actual watch, um, but hopefully that's just cosmetic. Hopefully you guys can see that, sorry. Just realised I'm out of shot there, so I'm just going to scoot that back. I'm not used to having an overhead camera, to be fair, so. This is all quite new to me. So, yeah, we've gone and cleaned out the edge. So, we've gone around the edge there, gone over the edge, cleaned all that out. Just so we get a really good contact. Um, when we put the, the new gasket in. So, just going to check the edge just to make 100% sure. Just to watch for reminding me to drink water. <clears throat> 
So, okay. Alright, right, so that seems nice and clear now. Um, okay. Right, if you're reusing your existing display, carefully clean the DZ residue stuck to the back. So... Okay, yeah, so clean the display. So, we're reusing the display. I don't think there's anything really to sort of reuse there. Because this is kind of... This is all pretty new um, from the, the most recent repair. Um, so we should be okay to carry on with that one. So... Uh, right, so... It helps flip the watch upside down so the display lays flat just to support the rest of the watch and take care not to strain the cables. So we don't want to strain these cables along here. Uh, that's these cables along here. I don't know if I can... Can I zoom in on that? I don't know. Uh, can I zoom in... We need like an enhance function. It's like enhance, you know. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut that out like that. And chuck that out like that. And there we go. Just so you guys get a better view of the repair. There we go. So, yeah, it's these display cables along here um, at the back that we don't wanna, we don't let damage. Um, I'm going to turn that light down to about 50%. So, yeah. So, we've got these display cables along here. Which we don't want to damage. Because they'd be very expensive. Um, so. Now, it comes to the new force gasket. Which is this lovely bit here in the bag. So, okay. Right. I'm going to tear it open. If I can get into it. Um, hopefully a pair of scissors are not required. Nope. Okay, get into that. So, okay. Just going to pop that to one side. Okay. So we've got a new part. Uh, using a pair of tweezers to carefully remove the blue protective liner at the bottom of the replacement force gasket. Expose the needles when the need. Note, make sure the connection pins are facing towards me. So, that should be this bit here. Now, hopefully you can see that, chat. So, yeah, it's these connection pins right here. Focus camera. So, we've got those connection pins. Um, and the rest of it is literally just adhesive. So, uh need to take the blue liner off okay chat would it help if you could actually see the guide at the same time as me um let me know let me know in the comments um what you think what you think so far i'd be i'd, I'd like the feedback to be fair um because that would be great um, I wonder if uh, Senatov has uh, had time to cool off. Uh, let's have a look. Senatov. Tell you what. I'm feeling kind today. I'm feeling kind. So we're going to unban. We're going to unban Senatov. Because I mean, I suppose it was the first offence. So, they did follow, to be fair. Usually, you trying to run band does not exist. Really? Uh, I'm pretty sure they do. Ah, hang on. That would be... Unbound. There you go, you're unbound now. If you're still there in the chat... Um, you can carry on. Uh, you can, you're, you're more than welcome to 
come back into the chat. Um, but yeah, now we are just grabbing the force gasket. Okay, now. The part that we're trying to get to. Let's move that watch back a touch. Let's move that over there, actually. Cool. So, we're removing the, the blue bits. There are two blue bits on this. So, we are removing this little... Removing the big blue bit first, by the looks of things. Okay. Now, hopefully... There we go. Uh, it's just coming away now. Like that. Cool. So we've taken the blue bit off um, our gasket. We're just going to pop that to in our little rubbish box. So now we've exposed the adhesive um, for this particular item. Um, cool. So uh, connection pin is facing me. That is that little bit there, where the tweezers are. Um, okay. Just gonna move that down a touch. Can I make that any larger? There we go. It's just so you can follow the repair a little bit easier, to be fair. So uh, yeah, the, the there's there is the force gasket, and the connector is like right, right here where my tweezers are tiny tiny little connector um so yeah that's going to connect to the battery and that's going to provide the um force feedback from the screen so when you press the screen the watch detects that you've pressed the screen down and then that feeds back into the the logic of the watch um so yeah that's that's that bit there okay on to the next step uh, with the exposed adhesive facing down, so the, the blue tab, okay, so this plastic bit here, this plastic bit here ha has to come off. So I need to do that. So all of this here, it may have been better to, to do that beforehand, to be fair. Just gonna grab another pair of tweezers. Um, just gonna separate. So what? Can I do this? No. So what? Just switch. I wonder if I can. I wonder if I can just turn that down a touch. A bit loud. So we need to poke that through. Careful we don't hit that matrix there. We've got like this plastic here which should have been taken off but wasn't in the destructions unfortunately. Um, so we're just going to try and do it from the non-sticky side, I think. So we're just going to sort of try and pry that off with our tweezers. So obviously we don't want to wreck the gasket itself. Right, okay, so it looks like we can do that. There we go. So we like that. Okay. We're going to pop that in our rubbish bin. Over the way. So yeah, how are you finding the stream so far? Is it good quality? Um, I've never done this before, so... Just sort of... Check in how we're doing. So there's the, the new force gasket. Now, I do note that on the instructions, it does say grab here. 
So this bit here, this bit here, is. So we're grabbing circuitry. Now what we're going to do is we're going to line up our device like that. Now we are going to go. Right, allegedly this is the easiest way of doing it like this. Okay. So we line that up like that. Okay. Now, what we're going to have to do is this little contact has to line up with those pins there. So we're going to carefully pop that down like that. So we get it in the right position. Sort of give it a gentle nudge until we get to <clears throat> where we need to be. So, okay. Just like that. Like that, just like that. <laughs> um, so, we're just getting that in like that. Just make sure we get that fully touched in. Uh, slightly tilt the display so you can align the force gasket with the frame. Make sure the connector lines up with its socket. Now, it looks like we should then be able to attach that there like that. But we're not going to do that in a minute. Because the guide has not said that. Now, it says reconnect the force touch gasket and the battery flex cable by connecting their connectors straight down until they click into place. So, I should just be able to pop, pop that. So I should just be able to eke that into place for the real look. A little bit of jiggery pokery. This is the fiddly bit, getting the connector back on, um, back onto its like connection post. I can see why this says it takes two to three hours now to do. Because you're fiddling around with such tiny little bits of circuitry. But it'll be worth it in the end. Definitely worth it in the end. So I reckon we're going to have to put a bit of a bend in this connector. And coax it onto connector. That's the battery connector there. I nearly had it then, chap. Ah, you git. You absolute goit. Aha. Right, there you go. 
Now we just make sure that we've got that contact really good and tight. So we should hopefully hear a click. Yeah. That was not the click we were looking for. That was a phone. Um, so we're not getting that satisfying click here, which means we're on, we're on and locked on. Ah, you git. It's popped off. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Sorry. Sorry, chat. This is getting it into position. Coaxing it on. There we go. And then putting enough force on it. To get to click into place, but it seems to be getting the better of me at the moment. It's definitely there. Determined not to go back onto that connector. Uh, so, so fiddly this. Yeah, we only need some plastic really. I don't think we're lining up that way, personally. It's like little ribbon connector. Tiny, tiny little ribbon connector. And it just will not do what I want it to do. It's like, nope. No, nope, no, nope. you've released me before. I just don't want to, you know. I want to go back on. Right, okay. So, we're lining up. Camera is really annoying me. Right, okay, so just gonna widen the view a touch. There we go. So you can see to the edge then. So, okay. There we go. Just like that. It doesn't help when you've got like really shaky hands. Because all these parts are literally brand new. So everything bouncing around all over the place at the moment. It's really, really fiddly. I wonder if I do, what if I coax it back by pressing down on the cable and using our tweezers. Fish. Where's our connector actually to? Oh, it's actually back to there. That could be the problem. Ah, ha 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 ha. You might be 
bit more. Sorry, chat. You've probably got a head of view of my head. Uh, mm. Is that better or worse? Trying not to. Everything's so dead loud. I have to put it to my thing. I mean, this is my first repair on stream as well, so apologies if this is not top quality, you know. I just thought, eh, just give it a whirl. Bring you guys along for the ride as we try and repair the technology. Okay, so just turn it. Probably there should be a better line on that one, but not. Not quite right. I think you need to go back like there with further. The trouble is, you sort of go to maneuver in place and it just shoots off. It's like ping, you know. So, I will get it on. Just maybe a degree of swearing in the process. <coughs> Use one of these little like guitar pick type things just to scoot it back a touch. So, so like a two pulled approach. So, you've got one finger push it back, and the other finger push it down. So, sort of thing. Ah, ha 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 ha! We may have contact, chat. No, we don't. I thought we were on them. I thought we were on it. I'm just listening out for that click at the moment. Let me get locked on. Ribbon connectors are the worst. Whoever come up with ribbon connectors is a massive pain in my ass. And it's probably making it absolutely mint. That piece of misery trying to get these things lined up and connected. Might drop the F bomb in a minute at this rate. Figs? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Not kind of what I was thinking, dear. No. That is my partner in the background, uh, Sunbite. Hello. Um, oh, come on! You. Fucking dead, dead, shedding bollocks. <coughs> oh 
trying not to say the F word. Really, really trying not to say that F word at the minute. You know what? Fuck it! Right, there we go. That's better. Not better for that? No. Still trying to get the fish cake flange on the fucking fanny. Yeah. yeah. If you're new to the channel, um, consider dropping a follow. Um, as you watch me struggle with technology. Um. <laughs> Hey. Oh, come on. I know I could get this done professionally, but I'm determined to fix this myself. Uh, even if it takes me hours. But at the end of the day, this is content. You know. Actually, even on. <laughs> Make it Sky News. <clears throat> oh, for Langes. <laughs> Come on. You will. You, 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 you. Frit. Oh. We haven't damaged the connection. I mean, these connections are usually pretty resilient, but So yeah, chat, how you doing? I think I've had a good weekend so far. Um, oh, come on. Let's try a two, two point attack. It will line up eventually. Just with brute force movement, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Turn that light up a little bit more. That's a bit I can see a bit clearer. Excuse me. Whew. Uh, so, if Come on, just give me that click. I want to be friends with this watch if we freaking can get. Ah, I had to click them. But is it actually on the connector? Is it? Oh, 
Oh, come on. So I'll swap that back then. Right, get that in position. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Bold Spot Cam. Um, I don't know that. Oh, the eyes start going after a while. Have I been at this for an hour already? Jesus. Okay. Well, thank you for sticking around if you've been watching for the entire hour. So far. I'm watching you struggle. Even on the friggin' connector. No. Nope. <laughs> Insult. Yeah. Right. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Sorry, man. I mean, the point of contact is so freaking tiny. That's what she said. Her point of contact is so tiny. <coughs> really? Yes. It's like, yeah. Um, um, it's the difference between making contact and not making contact. I mean, we're talking a milli, 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 but between contact and no contact. And it is really freaking annoying. Oh, is that it? Is that on? Oh no! Oh, I think we're so close then, chap. We're ridiculously close. Close. You just gotta coax it on. Coax it. Go in your home! Go home! Right. Now. Oh, come on. I lose my rag with this. Can we change music actually? Because. Uh. Let's go for a bit of chilled electronic. Let's go for a bit of that, actually. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull that back. I mean, the actual contact. Right, 
see what I need to do. Just getting there is difficult, isn't it? That's what he said. <laughs> I mean, it must be like a millimeter away. I mean, I can't tell if that's actually on or not. I didn't hear it click. Well, I think we might actually be on in contact with this. No, we're off. <laughs> I think you're on and you're not. I mean, we could actually be on, but unfortunately, rocking it. I can't tell. Nope, let's come all the way out. Funk. I mean, once it's on, it should be on. It should not come off. Unless you pull it off. It just does not want to... Play freaking ball, unfortunately. Well, I think we've actually made contact. Well, let's say we did. <coughs> and we'll move on to the next step. So, using a pair of tweezers, replace. Okay. So let's put that back on. All right, okay. So we attacked that. Oh, thank you, Sunbite, for gifting a sub to Terry Wilcox JR three one six. That is much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, recommit the force gasket and the battery. Right, okay. So, we focus so much on getting force gasket back on. We haven't even got the battery back on yet, to be fair. So, I'm going to go and reattach the battery. And what should happen is they should both sit relatively close to each other. Terry, if you're in the chat, let us know. You just got a free subscription from somebody. And I hope you enjoy that sub. Of course, you didn't have to do it. That's the ultimate to do. Probably because I'm repairing the watch. That's probably why. Oh, the freaking gasket just come off. Ah! Right. So the battery connector's on. I think. At least I think the battery connector is on. But in doing so, putting the battery connector back on, the gasket came off. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> Chips indeed. 
big, huge, chunky chips. Oh, yum, yum. That looks really like food, then. Um. <laughs> the Guinness sauce, though. The Guinness sauce. Mm, sounds yummy. I've never heard you make your honey, but I know. Yes, I know. Thank you. Right, I think they're both on at the moment. Oh, for the love of Port Gasket. <coughs> Trouble is, it's so fiddly. You think you're on, but you might not be. Well, that keeps rocking. Not happy with that. Not happy with that at all. The battery's gone straight on. It's freaking ridiculous, isn't it? It's like it keeps popping off, it keeps sliding and popping off. Trouble is, I could be making contact, but there's no clue where it's towing. Wow, which is super annoying. Um, I mean, it looks like we're lined up. But then we're not lined up. This has probably got to be the most fiddly bit in this freaking ribbon connector on the faffin McFluff. <clears throat> I mean, that one moment it seems like we're on, then the other moment it seems like we're not. So. I'm not sure.
All right, chat. I think. Focus camera. Uh, fo uh, camera does not want to focus. Oh, excuse me. Whew. <laughs> so. These two connectors over here. Oh, no, over there. Where the blue marker is. Are giving me the growth at the moment. It looks like he's on. So you've only got to flip it slightly and it pops off. It's probably why there was like a metal bit on there. So when you crunch it down, it puts a really tight grip on it. So why? Right, okay. So I think we faffed around with that enough now. So we're going to get a little battery cover. Get a little battery cover back off our parts tray. It has actually got a sponge on it, to be fair. So, it has got a sponge. Black sponge on it. Which then presses down on the top. So hopefully that should make a really tight contact. Now, the door, the battery door goes on like so allegedly okay so we've got this little battery door which then hooks on like so So that hooks in like that. So, okay. So we've got that back in. Right, now we get our tiny little screw on our screwdriver. Which over here, we get, grab our screwdriver. <clears throat> and we balance it on. And then we pop that through there like that. Bearing in mind that that little plastic piece of shit there, I'm guessing that comes back and out, which sits to the side. I'm assuming that's to stop it from arcing. Oh shit, I'm assuming it sort of goes in the way. Like so. It's so good to have magnetic magnetic bits you really do not want to lose a screwdriver in such a tiny in this tiny tiny little bulkhead and we're messing around with a tiny little part so so you want some really good tweezers because um, unfortunately what's happening is there we go that little screw, little tri screw, just literally like launched itself across the desk. So I'm just gonna gently screw that down. Like so. Cool. Okay. Uh, it's good. At this point, it's a good idea to power on the watch and test lots functionality before sealing. So, I'm going to pop that on. Hopefully, we should get a little Apple Ogre. If the battery's not flat. But, we have got a charger here. Um, which is just out of shop. Unfortunately. So, oh, we have a charging symbol. That's a good sign. Means the battery's connected. So we're going to let that charge for a bit. And I'll move that 
Right. So the watch is literally just out of shot at the minute, so we're just gonna adjust that. There you go. So there's the watch there. Just move that touch down. Let's do that. So oh hello. Well we have power, we have a power light, as you can see. So it's going to take a while for that to charge because it's been it's been off for such a long time. Yeah, it's going to take such a long. It's going to take a while to charge back up. Um. Okay. So once we've done that, it then goes on about. Removing the plastic, yeah, and then fully sealing it, and jobs are good. So, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. So, we replace the screw. Um, yeah, we're gonna come back to that. Um, because that appears to be flat as a furt. Um, we're gonna wand this back up in the microwave in a moment. The, the eye opener. Just realised that's a reverse. So, yep, we're going to warm up our eye opener um, in the microwave <coughs> for approximately 30 seconds. Just so we can, like, reseal everything again. Um, let's pop our parts away because I seem to have waylaid a blue, blue spludgy tool. Um, unfortunately, but I'm sure it's about somewhere. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, until the watch is actually charged, there's not a lot more to show on the stream. Um, but, 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 but any questions from the chat? Any questions, any questions at all? Um, I've been following the iFixit guide on the website. All parts um, I've purchased directly from iFixit. Um, so they are as genuine as you can get. Um, you know, they are replacement parts from iFixit. Um, so, yeah, that's still charging. That's going to be charging for a while now. Um, but, yeah, I'd like to thank you very much for viewing today. Um, yeah, I've been tech. Um, this has been uh, a repair, a repair stream. Uh, let me go back to just chat. There we go. Um, this has been a repair stream uh, for the Apple Watch uh, Series 3, 42 millimeter. Um, yeah, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that charge, and we're going to come back to that. Um, I'm going to post on Twitter. Um, even if we succeeded or did not succeed. Um, so if you're not already following, make sure you go and uh, check out my Twitter, uh, which is... There we go, there's my Twitter. And I'm going to post a photograph on there um, and some comments on that page. Um, if you did miss any of this uh, particular stream, I will be putting this onto my YouTube channel as well, which is uh, Tech for Gaming as well. Um, so you, you guys can see, um, I'm going to try and put some timestamps as well, so you can scroll through, um, the whole process and go to the point that you specifically want to do. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, um, I've been Tech Freak Gaming and, uh, yeah, you've been chat and, um, yeah, that's kind of the end of the stream. Um, thank you very much for viewing and I will catch you all. Um, I think this afternoon with a trucking simulator. I'm probably going to do some American trucking simulator this afternoon. Approximately 3, 4 o'clock. Don't quote me on that. Um, but that would be probably the best time um, to stream um, some gamings. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, everyone. Um, I will catch you all later. Don't forget to follow the Twitter uh, thank you for Sunbite for uh, gifting us up to Terry Wilcox Jr. 316. Um, hopefully they enjoy their sub. 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna go. Oh, actually, 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 actually. <coughs> Is anybody on science and technology that we can go raid? Anybody there? Anybody there? Anybody else doing something similar? Uh, Let's have a quick look. Uh, I don't know if this should have been in the right category or not, but um, I'm just having a quick scroll for the science and tech. Um, wow, there was a lot going on, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, anyone? Cyber security. Are you guys interested in cyber security? Um, don't know. Uh, whatever can... Background removal. Server room coding. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, repair. Anybody repairing anything below? Uh... Just me. Refrigerator repair in Hyderabad. Yeah, it looks like a advert or something. Somebody actively streaming something. Uh, bum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Figma jump scare. Jump scared again. Finesse. Ooh, what's this? Repair time lapse. Oh, that's somebody not live. Duh. Uh, this is all past videos. There's nobody actually live. You know what? Um, bah, 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 bah. I might just use RNG. Uh, just to sort of see. Um, who, who it automatically picks. Um, yeah, let's leave it to the auto host. Uh, once again, thank you very much for viewing, and I will catch you all soon. Stay safe, wash those hands, and I will catch you all again later on. Peace! Oh, chat. Chat, chat, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. I was just about to end the stream and I completely and utterly hit the wrong scene now. What is going on? Yes, we have success. We have success. The watch is booting. The watch is booting up. I don't know if you can see that there. The watch is there. Ooh. The watch is booting up. Yep, 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 yep. Uh. I don't know if the force gasket successful. Um, there's some horrible glare there. Drop that down to fifty percent. That's it. So the watch is booting. So we haven't wrecked any of the circuitry. I don't believe. Um, yep, it's gone straight to charging. Um, okay. We are charging. Uh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Good. Okay, touch screen's working. I'm just gonna flop, pop to, just chat while I enter the pin. Uh, one second. Okay, pin is good. Battery's charging now. Ooh. Okay, activity is all loading. This watch is gonna go friggin' mental because I haven't been on for about a month. Um, so yeah, yeah, the, um, it appears that, why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep doing that? Hang on, one second. Um, I keep pressing the button on the stream deck and I haven't, I've misconfigured the button. Uh, so top down, that is actually going to top down. There we go. Cool. So the watch is charging now. Uh, that's a, uh, yep. Is 
So yeah, that's charging. I don't think I can do anything on the camera. Oh god, new fell off. Um, yeah. So that's charging now. Cool. So uh, yeah, we will test the force gasket and see if that works. Um, yeah, uh, let's try the end again, and uh, yeah, I'll post on Twitter um, if we're all fixed. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.